Science 5 Quarter 4 Week 1 Milk Base Let's learn about Weathering Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 5, we will discuss about weathering. For most essential learning competencies, describe how rocks turn into soil. Earth is mainly composed of rocks that differ in terms of sizes, shapes, and colors. Though rock seems to be very hard, dense, and indestructible, they still break. Rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by the effects of weather. These pieces do not move to a new location. They simply break down but remain next to one another. The breaking of rocks into fragments is known as weathering. Weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. The breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different landforms. This is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Weathering can either be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. While chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. There are different agents of weathering, like water, wind, temperature, plants, animals, and humans. These are the agents of weathering. Water Water can be break rocks in different ways. The strong waves that seep into the cracks of rocks can make them break. When it gets colder, this water can expand and turn into ice which can trigger rocks to break as well. Another agent is the wind. Wind is another agent of weathering that causes beautiful formations like the Mahayo Arc in Sabtang Island, Batanes, Philippines. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. This can bring about mechanical weathering which can also result to different rock formations. Another agent of weathering is the temperature. When rocks are exposed to varying temperature, it expands. If rocks are exposed to a low temperature, it contracts. The repeated expansion and contraction of rocks due to changes in temperature results in weathering. Another agent of weathering are the plants. Some plants like lichens, ferns, and mosses can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and cause them to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic or life process of these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Another agent of weathering are the animals. Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. As burrowing animals dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. Another agent of weathering are the humans. Humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks. Subdivision developers use bulldozers to flatten mountains or hills to build houses. Some construction workers use jackhammer to break boulders of rocks 
as they repair roads. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or an open pit mine. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on quarry sites to get more rocks or stones which can trigger landslides. The activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain weathering through communicating the data collected from the investigation on the soil erosion. And now, let us proceed for the following activities. Learning Task 1 Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of this activity is Erosion by Water. The materials needed are 2 small pans, 6 cups of garden soil, and 2 bottles of 500 ml water. Here are the procedures. First, get 2 small pans and fill them with garden soil. Label one pan as A and the other as B. Second, pour water gradually in the soil on the first pan. What happened to the soil? Describe the movement of the soil. Third, repeat procedure number two on the second pan. This time, pour water rapidly into the soil. What happened? Compare the difference in terms of the movement of the soil from the first one. And lastly, record the time and measure your observations. After the activity, answer the following questions. Number one question is, based on your observation, in which setup did the soil move faster? Why? Number two, based on your observation, in which setup did the soil move farther and why? Number three, based on your observation, which setup moved more soil? Why? Number four, as you observe, what happened to the color of the water? And number five, based on the data collected in the experiment, what can you conclude about soil erosion? For learning task 2, prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of this activity is Showing Wind Erosion. The materials needed are 1 cup of fine sand, hard cardboard, and paper plate. And here are the procedures. First, pour one cup of fine sand on a paper plate. Second, slowly fan the sand on the paper plate using the hard cardboard. What do you observe? Next, fan the sand bit faster. What happens? And lastly, try different speed of fanning. Draw what shape forms each time you change the speed. If you are done on this activity, answer this question. As you observe, how does the speed of fanning affect the shape of the sand form? For learning task 3, use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast mechanical and chemical weathering. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. Chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. Their similarity is, breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different landforms. For learning task 4, identify the change happening in each situation. On the space provided before each number, Draw a heart eyes emoji if the change is an example of mechanical weathering and wow emoji if it is an example of chemical weathering. Number 1. A boulder of shore is slowly broken apart by the force of water. 
Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good. The answer is heart emoji means mechanical weathering. Number two, earthworm makes tunnels in the ground which may lead to the breakdown of stones and rocks. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The correct answer is Wow emoji means chemical weathering. Number 3. Some plants release chemicals which loosen the rocks and cause them to break. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is Wow emoji means chemical weathering. Number 4. Water inside the rocks freezes and melts again. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is heart emoji means mechanical weathering. Number 5. The chemical composition of rocks changes when acid is produced by the roots of some plants. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is wow emoji means chemical weathering. Number 6. Minerals in rocks dissolve. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is wow emoji means chemical weathering. Number 7. Tree roots can grow into cracks and break rock apart. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is Heart emoji means mechanical weathering. Number 8. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is Heart emoji means Mechanical weathering. Number 9. As the rocks expand, the cracks become deeper and new cracks are produced. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is heart emoji means mechanical weathering. And number 10. Rocks exposed to the intense heat of the sun crack and crumble when rain falls or soak in the ground. Is it mechanical or chemical weathering? Very good! The answer is Wow emoji means chemical weathering. For learning task 5, describe how rocks turn into soil in the following pictures below. Write your description on the space provided beside each picture. Number 1 Ferns can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and cause them to break into pieces. And number two, humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks. Subdivision developers use bulldozers to flatten mountains or hills to build houses. For learning task 6, read each question carefully and circle the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. Number one, it is the breaking of rocks into fragments. A. Erosion B. Flooding C. Weathering D. Runoff What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Weathering Number 2. A type of weathering that involves change in the composition of the rock. A. Chemical B. Both chemical and mechanical C. Mechanical D. Electrical. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter A. Chemical. Number 3. It is open pit mine where rocks can be extracted. A. Landfill. B. Reservoir. C. Open field. D. Quarry. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is... Letter C, open field. Number 4. Which of the following tends to cause physical or mechanical weathering? A. Animal that burrow in the ground. B. 
root of plants growing into the cracks in the rocks. C. Water that seeps into the pores and cracks of rocks. Or D. All of this. Very good. The correct answer is letter D. All of this. And number 5. What will happen to a rock when it is exposed to higher temperature? A. Contracts B. Evaporates C. Expands D. Sinks What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Expands And for learning task 6, match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. Number 1. It happens when rocks are exposed to a low temperature. What is the correct answer in column B? Very good! The correct answer is letter A, contracts. Number 2. A type of weathering characterizes by physical wearing of rocks. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D, physical. Number 3. As agent of weathering, they dig deeper causing rocks to break into pieces. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, borrowing animals. Number 4. As it blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter E, wind. And number 5, the process by which humans extract stones from mountains. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter F, Quarrying Remember, weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. It is the breaking down of rocks into fragments. Mechanical weathering is the physical wearing away of rocks, while chemical weathering involves a change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break into pieces. The different agents of weathering include water, wind, temperature, plants, animals, and people. They cause rocks to break into pieces. So kids, do you understand our topic for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!